Hey, welcome back. It's part three to our watch along of A Dil Hai Mushkil uh, with uh, Ranbir Kapoor. Um, and Kieran Johar obviously is the director. If you're seeing this on YouTube, just like the other parts, if you haven't seen the other two parts, please help people watch those two parts. Uh, it's going to be a very cut up version because of copyright reasons. If you like to see a full uncut version, though, you can head over to Patreon. I'll put a link in the description below in the main comments. You can go check that out. I hear that in my sleep. Uh, and uh, at the end of this, we will talk about the movie and review it. Let's finish this movie, huh? Ayan, my wife is going to go home. ये सुनकर प्यार की लग गई बस दुआ करती हूँ कि एक दिन तुम तो मेरे प्यार को समझोगे प्यार को एहसास हुआ कि दोस्ती हमेशा के लिए जारी है तो वो भागा क्योंकि वो जानता था कि दोस्ती दम तोड़ने वाली थी और प्यार दोस्ती की आखिरी सांस तक उसके साथ रहना चाहता था ये उसका हक था हेलो अली से मैं एयरपोर्ट आ गया हूँ मैं आ गया हूँ प्लीज रूम अली से प्लीज प्लीज मत जाओ Gonna go out onto the tarmac for love. <sighs> Hello. subtitles though oh, for yeah. songs like that would be and in the film as a whole because there's so many references oh, if they yeah. if they didn't put like the and i'm assuming they didn't where it's from hmm. why that's funny yeah. to uh somebody that just speaks english totally. um you wouldn't get half the film because yeah. i feel like Half the film is a film reference. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> the subtitles were excellent, and it was great to me. I mean the the songs definitely needed it. Needed to be subbed for Absolutely. sure. I thought it was a beautiful film. It was. I liked it a lot. I think it might be from what I've seen. Kieran Johar's like most subtle film mm. outside of maybe his girlfriend at the beginning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but it was so uncomfortable. In terms of like how big everybody mm -hmm. normally is in a Kieran Johar, yeah. even in Rocky or Ronnie, where there are, some people are playing it up a little bit. Um, this one, most for the most part, after she left, <laughs> um, it was pretty Very subtle grounded, for everybody. Yeah. Um, and I, uh, I mean, I, I doubt obviously the person he was in love with had cancer because he said that person saw it. So I, I think they added that little element on, but I a thousand percent believe Kieran Johar, like he says, only lover was somebody he could quote Bollywood nerd. movies yeah, with, sure. sing Bollywood movies Dance. with, quote them all the time, and then may I guess didn't reciprocate that love to him. Mm -hmm. That's very sad. Yeah, it is. That's very sad. I mean, it's. Hats off to uh, Kieran Jarrell for writing a story that <laughs> I was like, it's a Kieran Jarrell film. They're going to end up together. And they didn't. 
I assumed every Kieran Johar film they ended up together. But this is not Shah Rukh Khan. I guess it's not real life. Um... So it's quite a complex uh, kind of love yeah. thing there. It was like the theme of like, you know, the third person that enters into a relationship and not reciprocating and, love on one side. And and you can understand, obviously, all of them. Obviously, uh, Renbeer's situation is obviously easy to sympathize with in terms of you love her. Why doesn't she love you back? You guys are perfect for each other. Why mm-hmm. doesn't you? But obviously, then you understand her. You can't make somebody feel romantic love yeah. even if you have like a great connection in terms of friendship and and all that kind of stuff if they don't feel that way about you you can't really do anything about that you can't mm-hmm. force somebody to love you nope. romantically obviously i think she loved him oh she definitely did like As he was her safe space and mm-hmm. best friend and all those things she just couldn't give him the romantic love which is very sad. Yeah. Um, I thought everybody did a very, very, very good job. Ren Beer, I thought, did a great job. I loved all the cameos, especially Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> I knew Shah Rukh Khan had a cameo. You did? I didn't tell you. On, I didn't know where it was. So I didn't, like, when he came on, I was like, oh, there. He, I knew it was. I knew. I he, did not know. I knew he had a cameo. I didn't know Ali had a cameo. I didn't know Ashwarya was in the movie at mm-hmm. all. And I thought she knocked it out she of the park. She did great, yeah. yeah. She always does great, but yeah. she came in and just killed it. Um, With her gorgeous self. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Anushka Sharma did a great job. Mm-hmm. I, I always like Anushka Sharma, though. Yeah. Um, everything she's ever done. I think she has like that quirky girl next door kind mm-hmm. of feel to her. Easy to love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's... Um, yeah, the songs in it were brilliant, though. Yes. Yeah. It was beautiful. Overall, I loved I loved the story. Um, yeah, it was it was gorgeous. It's sad when two people that are, it's like if in the end of Harry, when Harry met Sally, they didn't end up together. It wouldn't hit the same. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Because <laughs> it's kind of a similar story, um, a little bit. Yeah. No, I mean not like it's not like it's a remake, but like in terms of friends who are like great together, their chemistry is off the charts. Everybody's yeah. like, you should be together. But in that one, obviously, they were both kind of just almost hiding their feelings. Because they, well, I don't, th- I think she didn't love him like that way for most of the time. Yeah. And then she realized that, no, I do. Which would have been the opposite for you. It was Billy Crystal. So you would have fallen in love immediately upon seeing him. <laughs> it's one of her weird crushes. Weird? Not personality-wise. He's great. Oh, my gosh. You're crazy. Ask, I think, 20 people that are attracted to men. He would not be on anybody's top 20 list in terms of... like. Would any of mine be on people's top 20 Most list, of yours, though? no, which is why I question your judgment. Oh, my and gosh. And my, my beauty. Because oh sometimes, gosh. babe... Oh, my gosh. Um... <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was, uh, also, um, I would like to know if that shot of all the cactuses in Ranbir is like a meme that I could have. Why? Because I loved it. What do you mean? All the cactuses lined up and then his face. It was such a great shot. I loved it. It was like miserable with his cactuses (laughs) and it made me happy. (laughs) You just need that uh, in the I'm Dead song? Yeah. Oh, no, that was the I'm Dead song was at the wedding, right? Yeah, no, it was the um, it was the one when he tells her to leave him alone and he leaves. And he's just singing. That was called a very unhealthy dinner. Yeah. Kapoor cactus. Oh, you lost it. What? Hi. 
That one. That's the one. <laughs> I love it. Yep. Cur- <laughs> Curled and wounded. Literally, the it was the way it was shot. I was like, this has to be a meme. It's amazing. Sad red beer with cactuses. <laughs> Um, what was your what was your uh, what was your favorite part? My favorite part. Um, besides Shower Khan, I really did like Shower Khan. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting it, so it was caught off guard. Yeah, I didn't tell you on purpose. Yeah, because I wanted to see her. I'd never seen that. I, mean, I didn't know when he was going to show up or what he and was going to do. he was do. very much a Shah Rukh Khan character. He gave all the, you know, like, you just love, man. You don't need, it's a one-sided love. It's the all best I love. need is myself, <laughs> love, and necks. <laughs> necks to kiss. That's all I need. So true, so true. Um, I thought it was a very beautiful film. I did, too. Um, I thought it was really well done. And I... The weird thing is, I I don't think it, I don't know if it did well when it came out, but mm-hmm. I, I have heard, like, people didn't like it. Um, I Karen Johar films, I feel like, are like that because they're very Western. Mm-hmm. They're one, I think a lot of Indians, uh, I've been told, don't find them particularly relatable because he sets them in these, like, grand places mm. he's a rich kid with uh, he could have his, his private jet and um yeah. and like there's they go to clubs and they they're in these fan they're wearing fancy clothes um which is why apparently a lot of people think he does or also does really well with inner eyes mm. because they're more in that world okay. i guess i don't know um i, li- I liked it a lot I, yeah. probably one of my favorite I mean, Ren- Ren- yeah. Beer films. it was i really enjoyed it I loved all the references. I loved how funny it was. Like, it was just... That whole sequence when they were recreating all the stuff, all the songs. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. he was so freezing fun. and she was wearing a sari. She's like, I'm wearing a sari. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, I'd recreate a Bollywood song with you, babe. Oh, I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't believe... You wouldn't even sing at Queenie Gilla. I mean, I'll... You wouldn't even you. sing that at me. I'll do now it. Now you're just going to you. die of cancer I don't, without oh telling me gosh. you love me. That's so rude of I've you. I've already told you I love you like a trillion times well, in my life. You didn't sing the song to me. so. Well, I'll sing the song to uh, you. Sure, but whatever. Not in the camera. Sure, whatever. Um, sad Ram Beer. Yeah. Things that just remind me of you. Remind you of them. Cactuses. Cactuses. Crooked love. Why crooked? Crooked love. Well, the cactuses aren't crooked. They're pokey. The sign where he went and waited for her because she said that's where. Oh, I think we were talking about cactuses. No, I'm not talking about cactuses. I was talking about because you said things that remind me of you, cactuses. And I said, and crooked love. Um, Did you watch the movie? No. <laughs> um, I knew they weren't going to end up with their other respective partners. Yes. Although I thought Ashwarya came in and killed her cameo role. She did. Um, she did a great job, as always. Um, and hats off to uh, that's I, one of the first times I've seen like an older woman, only ten years older than, but with. The, the hero of the film, the the man. Um, you don't often see that. You often see, obviously, you know, Akshay fifty oh, yeah. with a twenty five or thirty year old or something like that. Yeah. Um, but you don't you normally see it the other way around. But when it's a Shwarya Rai, yeah, I, I guess like... it's fine. She doesn't look like an old hag yet, <laughs> oh so we'll put her with the hero. Gosh. That's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, but when she does, I won't be allowed in film anymore. A joke. That's just what. Wow. Not most people are blessed with looking like a Shwarya. That's that's <laughs> true. I wonder what she does look like in the morning, though. I told you, just. Oh, that's a little bit. Call up, call up your good friend, Baby B. Poor Baby B. <laughs> oh my 
<laughs> I see poor baby B. Poor baby B. He's not, no, he's living a great life. <laughs> yeah, he's marrying a great life. Uh, he's married a great life. I don't think it, that's one of the most married up situations I've ever seen. <laughs> not in terms of like status. Obviously, he's a Bok John, but like looks. <laughs> not that he's an ugly guy. He's not. I'm not saying he's an ugly guy. He's not a schwar. <laughs> So, I mean, it'd be one thing if, like, Ranbir, who's an attractive, it would still be, I think, an up for Ranbir, because I think Ashwari is really pretty. But it's not like he's, like, a Ranbir. I think Ranbir and Topeka are very evenly matched in terms of, yeah, like, I, I mean, Ranbir would probably say he definitely married up, but um, yeah, there's... They're both babe that, level, for sure. Yeah, but a little B and Ashwari, that's, like, here. And ch- maybe, I don't even like, maybe he's her um, Billy Crystal. Maybe. <laughs> um, and I don't even find like a Shori, like a Shori is not really like my type. I think she's gorgeous, but she's not like if I was like to pick who I think are the most attractive to me in Bollywood, she wouldn't really be in my top five of because she's just not my normal type. She's gorgeous. Uh, yeah. I, I, it's, I think she's like one of those people that it's like it's would be in. I, you would be lying if you ever said that she is not attractive. Yeah. You could say that she's not my type, which is that's. Yeah, but it's not it's not debatable. No, like, it's not. It's it's you see you, her. She's gorgeous. She is. <laughs> it's not up for a debate. Yeah, it's it. There's no opinion involved yeah. in that. No. You see somebody who is attractive and you're like, yep. They're attractive. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that's yeah. all that this is about. But it's just, it always strikes me whenever I see her. And I'm like, she's married to Little B. <laughs> I don't mean to rag on him, but you're married to a Shari or a Bakchan. Uh, hence the name Bakchan. Uh, beautiful film, though. Yes. I really enjoyed it. Uh, very uh, sad for Kieran Johar that this is his most personal story. Yeah. That's very. I would watch it over and over again. Oh yeah, I'd watch this a bunch of times. This is one that you could pop on. Mm-hmm. It's feel good and cry, you know. Yeah. If I cried in films, um, this one doesn't. I I probably would now as a dad. To like if it was a film like Pursuit of Happiness. Mm, yeah. Oh, I'd probably die. Yeah. I'm not sure I'll ever watch that film again. And I love that film. I think it's a great film. Yeah. But I've not seen it as a father. It, it wrecked me when I was like 16. Yeah. I mean, that's <laughs> a rough story for anybody. But as a parent, you look at it differently for sure. Ugh, yeah. Worst nightmare. But yeah, this is a, a really good watch. Mm-hmm. Um, glad we watched it. I hope you guys enjoyed our watch along. Um, let us know what our next watch along should be for Ren Beer, for um, Anushka, for Ashwarya, for Shah Rukh Khan. Um, if you watch this on YouTube, you saw a very cut-up version. If you'd like to see the full uncut version, though, you can head over to Patreon. Um, I'll put the link description below so you can go check that out. And um, on to the next watch-along!